Hey gamers, Maniac here with exactly what you guys have been waiting all day for. The Wii U console unboxing. This is the deluxe edition. It is black. It has a 32 gigabyte internal flash memory with a Wii U controller, copy of Nintendo Land, two charge cables, HDMI cable, sensor bar for Wii, docking cradles for the um, uh, for the gamepad and stand, console stand, and Nintendo Land game. So everything that's in here is that is um, it's 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 a promotional thing. Now the cool thing about this, I thought this was a better buy than the eight gigabyte white model was that this comes with a copy of Nintendo Land. Um, that alone is worth sixty bucks. It's a, bun it's a bundle game for this version of the system. It is considered to be what's going to be the killer app. I mean, the Nintendo game, let's face it, is always the killer app of the, the a Wii console launch. Or um, For the Wii, it was, let's face it, uh, Wii Sports. For Wii U, it looks like it's going to be Nintendo Land. Now, there is going to be there are going to be like third-party launch games and stuff like this that are major. Zombie U, which I've already unboxed, is probably going to be the big, big, big one for third party, but for first party, it's probably going to be Nintendo Land or New Super Mario Bros. U. And my guess is, is that it's probably going to be Nintendo Land. So, what do you say we crack this thing open and see what's inside? It's the box right here. This does play all Wii games, uh, with few exceptions. Um, the Nintendo TV system is not available yet. Uh, that got delayed until next month. Um, I've already done a in-depth look at the Wii, uh, the Wii U controller in a previous video, so you can check that out if you want. This system and me go back quite a while because the way this always worked was... It's a nice box. This is the first time in history I've ever picked up a, game, a console on launch. I've never done it before. Handheld, sure, but not a new console. It's, it's the first time for me. I've never done this before. The system retail... Okay, this is upside down. Yeah, not a good... This feels upside down. Yeah. Let's try this upside down, maybe. <laughs> Let's try it like this. Yeah, looks like this is coming in two shelves. What do you see we got here? <laughs> A lot of stuff. And here is the second tray. Not really a lot of cool stuff on the inside. I mean, remember when I unboxed the Kinect model for the Xbox 360? Um, it had some cool stuff on the inside of the box, like Get Ready and stuff like that. This doesn't really have this. It just comes in two packages. Now, I understand that that makes the packaging cheaper, and they can transfer that cheapness over to the customer or that cheaper price over the customer. This is 350 There is another model out that's 300 If you currently see that people are selling them for more expensive, do not waste your money and buy it. Unless you absolutely must have the console, and honestly, I'm telling you right now, do not buy it. Because you're literally just wasting the money. The retail for this is 300 and 350 US. So let's see what we got here in this box. This is a copy of Nintendo Land for the Wii U. By the way, you like the powder blue? They're doing powder blue, basically. That's how it is. Let me show you. Zombie U does a powder blue case. And um, what else was I picking up today? Uh, right over here. Batman Arkham City Armored Edition also comes in a powder blue case. They all pretty much have powder blue cases. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm going to unbox these later. Um, Zombie U is already unboxed on the channel. Tomorrow I'm probably going to do Nintendo Land or Arkham City. Uh, manuals here, definitely, as well as the Club Nintendo points. These look like to be the charge cables. Oh, we got a power brick here. <laughs> Nowhere near as big though as the Wii U's, I'm sorry, as the 360's. 
This looks to be another power brick. This is probably the one for the, um, based upon that, that looks like it's a power brick for the um, controller. Although, to be perfectly honest, it does look very similar to the power brick that comes with um, the charge cable output that comes with the um, 3DS XL. We have stands. Oh, yes, we do. We have stands. And cradles. We have stands and cradles. This is an HDMI cable. And this looks to be the sensor bar. It looks a bit longer, I'm sorry, it looks a bit wider than the sensor bar for the Wii. This probably is because of Wii compatibility. But that, uh, that port looks exact identical. A little red port that looks identical to the, the Wii's. This was probably brought in for Wii compatibility and for further stuff. The IR transmitter on the, there is an IR transmitter on the Wii U controller, so that's probably uh, why. Let's open this up. This looks like the docking cradle. As you can see, there's a charge port there. Let's see what we got in this box now. Okay. okay apparently, this wants to come out first. I think I know what this is. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why you get this thing, I present to you get it out. <laughs> I really don't want to touch it, that's the thing. Oh, it does have that. I was kind of nervous about this. This right here is the Wii U controller, black. I really don't want to touch it, but I'm going to have to when I start playing games on it. This is the black Wii U controller. That's better. These do come in white as well. They are not currently sold separately. This is where pretty much all the Wii U cost is. For all we know, these could cost about 100 bucks. Now, I want to point you guys to something very important. When I said on the bottom right here, I did see what looks to be some strap holes. These are possibly speakers on the very bottom, right around here. But what is most important about this uh, bottom portion, if I can get a light catch it, those two gold contacts are for the charge. However, that center contact right there, which I usually saw cords connecting it to for um, when demo units were happening, I think that's a video out connection. I really do. Um, so this is it right here. As you can see, there are two analogs, a uh, series of uh, face buttons. The touchpad is fully touch. It, it, the, the screen is a fully touchpad. Uh, there is a camera on top right up there. Um, there is a microphone, the battery indicators, home button, interface buttons over there. On top you have the charge connection, volume control, shoulder buttons, as well as a microphone. I'm oh, sorry, not microphone, a, um, a controller. Not controller, um, headphone jack. And uh, two trigger buttons. And that's the Wii U controller. Now, this right here is the final thing that we're going to be seeing. This is it right here. This is it. This is the Wii U. It's very slim. And I'll shoot a comparison of the of the size of it in comparison to a normal Wii in a bit, if you guys would prefer. You can see right here there are sync buttons on the front, a eject button, power button, and what looks to be a SD card. There we go. And two USB in the front. Sorry about that. That is definitely an SD card slot. I'm probably going to be using that for some of my older um, SD cards, ones that I, the one that I certainly the one that I replaced the um, inside the internal of the 3DS XL. Wow, look at that! Very glossy. Here's a series of fans over here. Now let's take a look at the back, shall we? 
Wow, the back is very similar to the back of a Wii. Um, this looks to be the uh, video out port for um, Nintendo Wii cables. This looks like the charge. That is the sensor bar. There we go, that's better. That's the sensor bar right there, that red one. This is an HDMI port, which the Wii U does not currently ha does not have. Fan. And two USBs. Does not look to be that there's any um, uh, wired Ethernet connection. So this will require Wi-Fi from the looks of it. And that's it. It looks so cool in black. That's it. That's This is it. This is the unit. So, all of this put together. You've got your sensor bars, your HDMI cables. Um, based upon that port I see, I did not see a uh, standard definition cable under any circumstances. I looked. But I don't see any of them. These are just some charge cables for the unit itself and for the Wii, uh, for the Wii controller. Um, so because of that, it only comes with an HDMI cable, so my guess is plug this up to an HDTV, but from the looks of it, if you don't have an HDTV um, and you have a Wii, your Wii cable will work just fine from the looks of it. Uh, it does seem to have the same port. I don't think a GameCube um, cable would work, but I do think a Wii, a Wii uh, cable, be it either standard or progressive scan cables, would probably be able to do the trick. Sensor bar, probably for full Wii compatibility. This thing will be compatible with Wii controllers, although I do recommend if you're planning on using a Wii controller with it to have a Wii controller with a Motion Plus um, because all the new controllers that uh, Nintendo is currently selling um, basically have integrated Motion Plus technology in them and they're the same size as a normal uh, Wii controller. So it's obvious that later on the Motion Plus technology was made smaller and uh, they do not need the extra adapters for them. Uh, does that mean trade in your extra Wii controllers and stuff like that, I'm certainly considering it and uh, getting the new ones. Uh, they are Wii U branded, but they will work on the Wii as well as the Wii U. Um, the, the, the standards are, are completely compliant. So to me, just from an aesthetic quality and stuff like that, this looks to be a natural evolution of the Wii. You know, this looks like to be that, you know, Nintendo is like, we're going to basically make it look like the Wii as much as possible, except where it counts, you know, inside and in the controller itself. As for this look, they're, of course, taking advantage of things like high definition and, and um, surround sound and everything like that. They've got a fast processor in there, a decent GPU for high definition gaming. They've got a cool amount of games that are coming out for it. But really, this is the showpiece. This is really where the price of the thing is going. And um, they did say that um, they will be taking advantage of having two controller, two of these controllers working, but none of the launch games are taking advantage of it, and there's no intention that they are going to be doing that, So, uh, for, for the short term at least. So these are not sold separately. If it breaks, you can probably get a replacement for it, but that's it. That is the best you can do. For this, of course... This is, you know, this is basically just like a beefed up, you know, a beefed up Wii. And, um, but this is really where your game is going to be. This is where your $350 is going into. Is like, it, what is, what can this do for gaming? And from what I've seen from some of these launch titles, um, whether it be Nintendo Land or uh, Zombie U or Batman and Arkham City Arkham Armored Edition, um, I'm sold uh, based upon those three games. Those were the three games that I thought really could take advantage of this of this new complex system, and I'm really looking forward to playing them. So until next time, guys. This is Maniac with GameAccess.net. I'll see you on Nintendo Land over and out.